Hi everybody and welcome once again. We're at um, chapter 4 of our Christian Fellowship Bible Study, chapter 4 of Matthew. Um, glad you could join us. Welcome. This is Christians Together Worldwide. Now if you've watched the previous couple you might have noticed that we're not calling it Open Hearted anymore because that was a bit of a misnomer. The actual name of our community is Christians Together Worldwide. Now this is very important. Um, you need to join the conversation. This isn't to preach. This is a shared Bible study and discussion. We're fellowshipping together. We're having a conversation. We're having a, a bit of a community session. So bob on over to facebook.com forward slash Christians Together Worldwide where we can get into the meat of um, what we're going to chat about to get t today. So, you know, join in. This isn't a preach. I'm not a preacher. Um, I was somebody who felt like I needed to do a little bit more Bible study. So I thought to myself, why don't we do it together? That was the idea. Now then, where were we? Matthew chapter 4. If you want to read along at home, we're reading from the NIV. Or if you just want to relax and enjoy, then by all means do. So starting, Matthew chapter 4 from the NIV. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, Tell those stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. Of the temple. If you're the Son of God, he said, Throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. When Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he returned to Galilee. Leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum, which was by the lake in the area, uh, in the area of Zebulun and Naphtali, to fulfill what was said through the prophet Isaiah, the land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea along the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. News about him spread all over Syria, and the people brought to him all those who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon-possessed, those having seizures and the paralyzed, and he healed them. Large crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the region across the Jordan followed him. There you go. You've got to remind me to pray next time. I'm supposed to pray before we start reading scripture. That's fantastic, isn't it? I love that Jesus beginning his ministry. That's wonderful. Have you got any good ideas of what we should be chatting about? Then by all means say something in the comments. But there's so much going on there. I love the idea of Jesus beginning his ministry and then just taking a, a walk along the seashore and seeing some people fishing and saying, come and follow me. And they just dropped everything right there and then. Is that the way it was for you? When you began following the Lord, did you just drop everything right there and then? Or did you spend weeks or months or years umming and ahhing about it? Or are you still wondering what that whole concept is, just to, just to drop everything? What does that actually mean? What's expected of us? 
Anyway, let's get into the conversation. Any interesting points that you think have been raised from that reading today? And remind me to pray before we read scripture next time. I'm going to go on to chapter 5 now so you can watch the next video and I'm going to pray before I start reading. <laughs> God bless. See you. Bye-bye.